I'd give her character two frames. <laughs> Ooh, spooky! <laughs> spooky. <laughs> uh, it's 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 horrible. Yeah. But I mean, gotta gotta not let shivers run down your spine too quickly true, though. True, true, as true, true, true. Jen is looking to not let even find means to be put off stage in positions like that. But hey, we're starting right back off here at Losers Finals at Xeno 274, and we're starting off scrappy here, Doggo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another up B. Oh, once again, the down air. You see it in Gabriel's eyes. Once again, a punish. And Gabriel just rolling, actually, at this point. Getting the full laser as well. 102% for Palutena. And this is a percentage where Gabriel is going to look for those grabs to get the down throw in. You saw with quick for Palutena. A lot lighter. She's able to KO a lot earlier. And you see, he is staying grounded. Tries to get something with the grab going. But Jen answering for accordingly with the upper and actually KOing Epic Gabriel at 85% with that. Confusion. But yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's made, yeah, it's it's I don't know why they gave her that up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why Gabe died. <laughs> <laughs> true! True! <laughs> I, I mean, we take those if you're Jen, yeah. you get to roll with the punches and start to snowball here. Something that uh, something yeah. that Palutena can do extremely well. And not 50% already on, on the board, but a solid punish by Gabe with that up smash, recognizing the jab and following through with the appropriate punish. Yeah, we're still in the percentage where Palutena can do a lot of damage, actually. We are still playing against Roth, and Palutena at early percent is going crazy. She has so much potential to get you, not even just off the uh, on the ledge, but just to keep you in a bad position there. But we see Gabriel early trying to take over the mid stage, but the dash tag is going to send Gabriel out there. Gyro up in the air, and then Nair is going to get followed up by a whole bunch of damage. 64%. A triple fair. Jen getting caught for holding in, trying to find a reversal. Mixing in some more of these jabs, but almost too early. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, in fact, too early on trying to find, uh, trying to catch Gabe spot dodging or something yeah. of the like. As those shots have gotten multiple punished, allowed Gabriel to get back into this game and allowed him to get this juggle situation, not finding the stock quite yet. Okay, we got a grab from Jen right now. Is gonna try and catch him up stage. No forward air. Oh, but a re grab is not gonna get punished. No up air hit there. Good air dodge by Gabriel. And the air dodge is gonna save Gabriel's life. Now we currently at 122 and 125. Both of these characters are high percentage, but the drag down air into the up tilt is gonna be the KO for Jen here, taking the second stock for Gabriel. Super good confirm, just for Palutena to have in general. I mean, like such a, it's like a little penance that you gave. It's like, all right, we're gonna nerf this this character a bunch of times over, but up tilt's now crazy, and uh, so is Jen's DI, like able to survive that long, perfect DI straight yeah. to the corner, and now you get to play the game a little bit. I I I, I rarely see DI that good than that up there, and now Jen just trying to extend his advantage. It's kind of the same with Samson. You do not want to, you do not even have to get these big conversions. You just have to get these backers and dash attacks, just keeping. Uh, Gabriel out of the range where he can KO you. And Jen actually doing a really good job at this point, just extending the lead slowly but surely. 75%, 88% already. And Epic Gabriel has to make something quick, uh, happen quick, in order to get this Palutena out of there with 190%. Up throw, a push. Dropping the pile driver straight down as Epic Gabe does have a long way to go, but with Gyro in hand, anything is possible. Like this character has so, in Rob has so many means to explode and to transform the game into Rob's own plaything. It just is a matter of finding that proper hit. Yes. And, I mean, you got a solid 35 on here though, but finding the, finding these grabs. Got to make the most out of this. Mm -hmm. And we are still in Pokemon Stadium, so that, that rotor arm off the stage can be so much more effective here. But when you get the great down tilt from Jen there, sniping Rob's recovery out, and then instantly confirming it with the backer. Great conversion there as Jen takes game number one. Very crispy, super like super clean on just something that you need to have. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like down tilt is one of. Down tilt and up smash are both individually very strong for Palutena in this position, but down tilt offers so much more as you just let it linger, catch the two Perfect. frame, and it's like literally how you draw it up. Yeah. Like you could not picture it better if you're done. Nope. nope. Just Catching the two frame perfectly, go. reacting through perfectly. Great stuff by Jen. As we go into game two, same stage. Uh, I, I can imagine. I, we, we, you, you talk about how hard Gabriel can reverse these situations on this stage. Uh, and maybe Gabriel looking for that, seeing how that, uh, how they can get away with that. But currently, we see we see this, this Jen strong neutral game instantly coming out. 84% on Gabriel already. Yeah, looking mighty fine all in this game uh, as the start starts to unfold into the mid game. I like how Jen is 
very readily finding the spacing and using the spacings for. Uh, that was an interesting yeah. setup. Oh wait, Jen uh -oh. is actually Jen's actually playing a really heavy advantage state right yep. now. Not just pressing their neutral, but also. <laughs> The Palutena backers doing work and the coverage instantly yep. throwing out that up tilt, tr catching Gabriel trying to come down with the Nair. Not today, Jen holding onto that first stock in with some, uh, definitely some Palutena <laughs> moments in there. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, you have to abuse it, man. It's true. They're, right? You play against a character who can zero to death you off a neutral error. <laughs> that is insane. But Jen actually avoiding that so well, not getting hit by any overextensions, and just playing it very safe, but still getting that great advantage that we're talking about. Good forward there into the dash tag, and another dash tag. It is going to add up, and Gabriel is looking a bit lost. Seems to be getting hit by so many of these Palutena aerials. Gets the up smash finally here over Rising Foreigner. Is going to be the KO, but 77% instantly on Gabriel. And the upper again almost getting the KO. This is looking really hard for Gabriel to get control over. And slowly with Sede again finding one of those down tilts. Unable to get much more off of it though, as Jen just is able to play this lockdown neutral. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I, I Get no? the dirt out of there, man. <laughs> yeah. Get it out of here. Sometimes you just kind of let it rip, baby. <laughs> Oh, trying to bring the hammer down instead with that neutral air. See if you can find the closer and something like a back kick here in, as Jen gives up a lot of ground. That's where you get when you have speed like Palutena's but the whip grab. And that is actually really bad for, for Jen here. Could actually lose the advantage here, lose the entire lead. He's been building up out of his entire game as Gabriel now is with the full laser teleport. Is going to be good to get out of the situation. But still 115%. The up airs are going to come in. Down are going to start coming in. And the up smash. We've seen it before with these rising areas from Palutena. But that shield from Epic Gear was looking small. But that back air actually sniping Jen off the platform. And that entire situation was caused based by that one with grab and Gabriel just extending and extending it. And when, oh, and there's no jump here. <coughs> and that's what happens when you set up pristinely and perfectly a no jump situation as Rob. You're, especially against Palutena, we mentioned yeah. the teleport recovery earlier. A very susceptible. And I mean, right there. Yep. Boom. Checkmate. Yep. Yep. It's, it's like the fact that it's so big that that jump get got burned there right. because Palutena with a double jump, it, like you have to commit to that down air and Palutena can just react, okay, he's doing it now, I can teleport to just safely get across. But with a double jump gone, you do not have that luxury anymore. You have to commit and hope Rob honestly messes it up. <laughs> yeah. He didn't. <laughs> he, really, really he, he really, really didn't. He clearly and, did. And you should. Like, like that, these are yeah. this type of stuff. Like, if you're going to be like a good player, if not just a good player, if you're going to be a great player, yeah. you've got to, you've got to get the good stuff. You got to get the the gimmies, and that's a gimme. Uh oh. You? Yep. That's not, that one's also kind of a gimme. It's he like two it, it just kind of happens when you play Rob. <laughs> it's like, all right, I gotta hit these. Yeah. I mean, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 an important it's an important tool to master. It uh, is. But but yeah, states like these accentuate those types of yeah, those types of tools so much in your favor. And now we are kind of seeing the opposite of the first two games, where Jen is the one running behind Gabriel, having to take the initiative as, uh, as someone who has been kind of playing more carefully with punish heavy. Having to take the lead, the, the, the initiative might be a very hard thing to switch to. Yeah, uh, initiative is such a hard thing to play around yeah. when you are, um, when your characters like these, like that can yeah. snowball so well, that have amazing advantage states. Like uh, Jen, natively, when you have the speed, you want to play the dash back game, but right now you just can't. You've got to start improvising, and you've got to start finding openings, and. Unfortunately, this ledge trap isn't going to amount to much unless you can Ooh. Look at Gabe, just avoid the ledge for so long. <laughs> like, I'm not giving it no. to you. And, and, and Gabe so perfect, <laughs> missing the forward <laughs> Oh, it does get the KO, but still, Gabriel spending so much time off the stage. It's kind of messing with how Jen wants to finish off the stock. And we see 79% on Jen. On here, we see a small lead building back, or a small uh, comeback building up with the backer now, and it is Gabriel not leaving the ledge at this moment. And they're so good at keeping Rob there. There's nothing for free, though. Like, you found this corner situation yep. for, like, 15 seconds, and you got 44% off it. It's just so little, and everything you're working so hard for 
because Gabriel just has instant answers and knows when to overextend that arm rotor, catching Jen drifting a little bit lazily and turning it into a two stock to one advantage. Good the IN actually does not want to get stuck on the platforms because an up smash would be such a big move to hit there. Good option there for Gabriel to dodge it, but still going to get in danger situation. One hundred and one percent. Good parry there. Gets some neutral air. He's going to add some damage. Once the up air, but the four tilt. Is going to send him off the stage. Gabriel again has to recover. And another great parry. Jen has been so good at getting these parries off the neutral air, but he's not getting the conversions he wants this game. Oh, but excellent teleport into the back air, stuffing out that, uh, stuffing out the attempted interception from Gabriel. Now he's off ledge, but again, avoid uh, off stage, avoids the ledge completely and able to find a little bit of damage. That dash attack still not going to do it from Jen. Oh, beautiful. The back air. Uh. It, it, it hurts, but he, he's getting these beautiful backers and dash attacks, but it's just barely not enough. Tries to get the neutral air, maybe into the up tilt. But again, not going to be enough. Gabriel now a killing position. Good teleport there to dodge the rotor arm, but it could have been it. Neutral air going to close up the second stock. Now we're on last luck situation in game three. And the, the game early is in. Epic game is just like totally dialed in on not letting Jen get any sort of momentum because it's just one grab, one nair. Anything, any sort of starter can you can get the instant 60 on a stage like Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, there it is. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. actually gets too far with the drag down and doesn't get the final hit of the upper. No big string coming in there, but Gabriel now in the ledge gets the nuke for air into the back air. 64%. Gabriel. Yeah, kind of predicament, but the laser is such a good snipe there, and is add, gonna, gonna add so much damage. But gets out of the corner despite the gyro being there, but the forward smash actually gonna win. Is it gonna be the KO? Yeah. Despite oh. air dodging there, despite mashing so hard that Gem was able to air dodge Wrong. to the platform. It was just the wrong way. Like yep. you had the mash, you had the right call out. Yeah. Where it's like you mash early, you buffer the air dodge. Yeah. Like great. Awesome, amazing. A little bit of a risky, but you had the counterplay to get out of it. But platform Y. <laughs> yeah, and then, oh, uh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Like, air dodge this way instead. Yeah. And you're fine. Yeah, you're you're fine. I mean, you're not, fine. you're not. You're, you're like still, a, like, in an air dodge situation, but you would have like, survived. It's not ideal, no. but you're alive. <laughs> I mean, nothing about a situation was <laughs> ideal. Getting grab a rob at 130 yeah. is just... Like the hardest thing to get out of. I want to go back to the, like the first stock that Gabriel loses off stage, where he just went flying up and up and down. How right. perfectly he spaced that around uh, Palutena's options there, just right. barely staying out of that, out of the forward air, out of the back air, uh, and being able to survive that. Uh, such great awareness from Epic Gabriel uh, to, to avoid that situation yeah, uh, uh, as he advances through to the Grand Finals. Yeah, loses run, does not stop. Excellently played from both of these players, but unfortunately only one may stand, and Epic Gabriel continues through to play against Meister in a, uh, I guess this is a no New York finish. So, yeah, you know? kind of an, 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 an unregional thing to end off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that will do it for me. Uh, it is 11.30 p.m. Looking like we're not gonna have a Thursday Xeno, yes, <laughs> but I still got to catch a train. So <laughs> I'm going to be swapping over with um, the amazing and awesome Mataneva really quick. So don't touch that dial. Some Smash Dashers coming your way. Or some Grand Finals actually coming your way in just a brief moment. Doggo will be staying here. Yes. Round of applause. And catch you all later. <laughs>